Okay, so let's take a look at Iris. So we've got a UMAT format file. I think if we, we're currently in IPython, so we can just use a bang to look at shelf, look at what's in the current directory. So we have a file called infile. So this is a UM format file. Mm -hmm. So let's try cubes equals iris dot load. Load and in file. So this is reading a file with the library. Um, and we can print it. It's a lazy read, isn't it? Yes, yes. So um, it only loads the data when you actually when you actually do something with the data. Yeah, just like any sort sort of NetCDF file. Um, so here we've printed the cubes. We've got a number of UM variables in them. Mm -hmm. So the UM keeps track of variables just given by a number. So here we've got number 0301, 0302, 0303, and so forth. We can look into one of them more closely just by indexing that list. And we can see that this is a two-dimensional variable, or three-dimensional, I suppose, if you include time. We've got time, latitude, and longitude. And it's data from the Met Office Unified Model. What we don't have is any way to tell what uh, what's contained in this in this field just by telling it, just by like its name or anything. Um, so what we can do is say say this is Q flux. So we'll say cubes naught dot var name. Flux. And try printing that again. So now we have a name, which is going to be helpful for us when we're later analysing the data. Mm -hmm. um, there's other things we can do. We can say dot long name equals flux correction. Okay, so now we can see that it's called flux correction. Um, so if we haven't overwritten this var name, it's still in there. Um, we can still get uh, cubes naught dot var name. So I can spell. So that's still saved there. It's just preferring to use the long name to show us. Uh, what's in the file. Mm -hmm. There's a, another thing called standard name. So this is only for um, actual CF compliant standard names. So if we just try and put whatever we want in here, qflux, it will complain at us because this isn't a standard name. Mm -hmm. So we want to use standard names so that other tooling can can use known names. Uh, we can try and find a standard name for it. If we go to go to the wonders of the internet, go to cfconventions.org. And there's a standard names table, which we can search through. So we could should be able to use anything, any of these. We'd want it to actually be uh, consistent with the uh, with what's actually in the file. But for here, we'll just choose surface downward. Later, heat flux, and you can see extra information as well as the units that it expects. So let's go back and say we've given it a standard name. Yeah. yeah, so now it's accepted. We still have to make sure that it's the right, correct name. Yes, yes, of course. Um, so now we've got the standard name.
So you can see that it first prefers the standard name, then the long, long name, name and then the var name. Um, so let's save this as a netcdf file. So to do that, we do iris.save cubes. So this will save all the variables uh, into a file cubes.nc. Uh, this is just a warning message. We don't care about it. It's just telling us that defaults have changed in the new version. So we've saved a file into cubes.nc and we should be able to now look at what's in the file, what's in the directory, cubes.nc and we should be able to go nc dump dash h cubes.nc So now we still have lots of unknown variables because we didn't change all of them. Mm -hmm. But we do have qflox, which is our variable name. Yeah. It's got a standard name and a long name. So we've corrected the the name in the stash file and gave it a, given it a standard and long name. So one should say that the in file itself was a um output file. Mm -hmm. So Iris doesn't really care what kind of input file it gets, or it has is quite flexible in what mm -hmm. it reads. But Iris itself cannot write UM yeah, ancillary yeah. files. So, yeah, so it can... for that, we still need MK ansel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we prefer prefer writing everything in that CDF file, converting it back to UM formats, always a bit of a pain, yeah. unfortunately. Cool.